Good morning, good morning. Today is the day we take Gilbert to the vet. We'll see how it goes. We'll keep you all with us. Brandon's home from work today, but um, I'm just gonna let him sleep. He works so hard with mandatory overtime and then coming home and taking care of the farm chores and everything. So I want him to be able to get rest when he can. And today he can. So I'm gonna take care of the chores by myself, but you'll see him in a little bit. Good morning, goats. They like to play. Oh, their ramp fell down. I'll have to fix that. <laughs> uh oh, her leg got stuck. She got it. And then there's Harmony, who desperately wants to be milked, so I should probably actually get to getting things done. They're just fun to watch. I like to go back to feeding Jenny first. <laughs> Jenny's fed, Chai's fed, Honey's fed, and the goats are now just chilling. <laughs> now that I'm ready for Harmony, she's walking away. Let's see what happens if I go over to the door. She got here before I did. Come out without Joy coming. Oh no, Ugh. go back in. Rather trying to put her in and then make sure another one doesn't come out. I'm just gonna tie her out for now. We can't leave them out for very long this morning if we do tie them all out because we do have to take Gilbert to the vet. Okay, Harmony, it's time to milk ya. Are you gonna stand nicely for us today? That would be greatly appreciated. Well. Once again, more than two, fewer than three, but um, I don't expect her to just have a sudden burst of milk production overnight right now. Um, so I'm glad that we got the same we did yesterday. And if we keep trying to get the same amount or a little bit more, she's going to keep producing a little bit more and a little bit more until we finally get what we need for our bottle babies. Isn't that like caramel? <laughs> All right, Mama. Are you ready to go see your baby? Yeah, I like that little head bob. Oh, I thought you wanted your baby. I'll bring him out to you, I guess. We'll tie out the goats. He's looking hard for his mother. I tried Sky and he tried Joy. Right now he's nibbling on some weeds over here. He'll find her eventually. Hey, they found each other. I was over here watering the plants when I saw what could possibly be the smallest spider web I have ever seen. It's just caught between grass. Isn't that cool? Maybe I'm weird. Actually, I know I'm weird. <laughs> Good morning, ducks. And there is our goat that's going to the vet today. He seems torn. Do I want to go with my lady or do I want to go with the person? <laughs> Come on, Jenny. I'm going this way. I wonder when she'll figure it out. Here she is. Good morning, Jenny.
Good morning, chickens. We'll do both today. <laughs> Are y'all sticking around here today? <laughs> They're not so keen on getting out of here this morning. <laughs> They're like, we're fine. Jenny, you leave it. Jenny, no. You leave it. Good girl. Yeah, you want that, don't you? Hmm. Just to... That's okay, that's why you didn't bring a basket. <laughs> well, I would have videoed them leaving for you, but I had to rescue her two eggs. It's possible, you know, if I had known it was just two, I may have let her have it. Hey, Jenny! You leave it. What has gotten into her? All right, y'all. So we're gonna have a brief chit chat. <laughs> um, my husband and I have talked a lot about what to do. We have to have three separate groups of goats. One for the bucklings that are ready to breed one for the dolings that are too young to breed, and one for Gilbert specifically, because he would pick on the little bucklings and um, he can't breed the little dolings. So, we have been considering, we'll either sell him or we'll butcher him for his meat. Um, he's, he's a buck, you know, <laughs> and often bucks don't taste that great but apparently there's some ways of cooking it that's just delicious so we could try it um and then we'll just see but he makes beautiful babies but we don't want aggressive goats so if if push comes to shove and we have to get rid of him at least we have his dna and another little buckling she thinks she's getting an egg. Will you stop that? <laughs> These are not for you. You need to leave it. Are you our mascot? Oh, do you want to be pet? <laughs> All right, enjoy. Jenny, you leave it. Bad dog. Is your leg okay, little one? We're getting him ready for the vet. <laughs> yes, he do. I'm a little goat. Well, as you can see, we just have one goat. Um, we tried to get Gilbert in the truck. We tied him down on both ends and had him connected with his collar and he was stuck and he had green. And then the truck started moving and he hopped out. And we have to get this little guy's orange yeah. removed. So we're here with him now. And we'll just figure out what to do with Gilbert later. Uh, he's back home. He lost his horns. He looks a little bit garish. I think the mama is really, really being super sweet because she missed him. Didn't ya? Did you miss him? Now, some of you may be wondering why we dehorned Dimitri. But this buck has horns. And most of our other goats have horns. The reason is that goats use their horns 
for much more than just fighting off predators. It's a natural like um, temperature control. They can release heat through them. Um, plus, you know, if there are coyotes, they can kind of protect themselves and whatnot. And there are nights when the coyotes are just howling. But this is a very docile goat right here. He's been a bottle baby since the day he was born and they just raised him that way. Um, and he's a super sweet goat. Whereas this guy has the DNA from his dad and I've already seen him be more aggressive and um, And as you can see, he needs a way to stand up for himself because otherwise he just runs away. Notice anything different about Gilbert? If you don't, don't feel bad because we didn't take him to the vet. We sure gave it a try though. We had him tied out on either end of the truck and he was okay. And then she left and he didn't like that very much. No, you're not gonna spill my water. Can't, don't spill my water. Don't, no. Um, then the truck started moving and both me and Rachel thought, well, when the truck starts moving, he'll, he'll sit down. Well, instead of sitting down, he's like, never mind, I'm gonna bail. So he jumped out of the truck and was able to stretch the rope out of shape and he was, basically hanging there. It was a good thing he didn't injure or kill himself. But we knew after that, there was no way we were gonna get him anywhere close to the truck. No, sir, you cannot get that hoof off that water. Um, there would be no way we could get him in the truck after that traumatizing experience. So, it was like, we're just gonna keep him here for today. And we're either gonna have to call a vet come out here or we could do it ourselves which seems like the least appealing option or we could use them for meat <laughs> he's not in any pain right now he's ornery and mean and stubborn look he's i'm complimenting him and uh but i don't want him to be in any pain and on top of that he makes pretty babies and you didn't see this on video but when he was uh walking around he we had him in the front yard and Dimitri saw him, and Dimitri knew that's who his dad was. He started following him. I think that's pretty cool. Because they, they never met in person, and Gilbert didn't pay any mind to him, but Dimitri was right on his heels. So. We did get one uh, dehorned, and that was kind of a heart-wrenching experience for everyone. Abby was crying and I'll admit it, I was a little misty-eyed. All right. But right now we have a job to do. We have to go water those pigs. So let's get that done. All right, Mr. Pig's getting him some water. Miss Piggy already had some water. And she decided to take a mud bath. What's Mr. Pig gonna think of you? Being all, ugh, all dirty and nasty like that. What do you think of it, Mr. Pig? I think I'm hungry. Yeah, I gave Miss Piggy some water, then she drank a little bit of it, then she spilled it. Oh, here, here was Mr. P oh, Mr. Pig. Ugh, I'm glad thing I'm glad you not got an electric fence.
Yeah, it's it's not incredibly hot, but it's definitely humid, and that makes the the heat that is there. Okay, the electric fence is on. It makes the uh, heat even worse. So I felt bad about having nasty pigs. The guy who owned Mr. Pig before us used to take a garden hose and hose them down. But I tell you, stay cool for one thing, and that dirt kind of keeps the fleas and bugs and whatnot off of them. Oh! Man, you gotta stand back when this guy shakes. It's like a... <laughs> He's making it rain over here. It's the only animal I can think to compare him to is like a a bull <laughs> or a or an elephant or right now since he's wallowing the way he is maybe a hippopotamus. Look at that nasty, nasty, nasty. But he's like, oh, it feels so good. All right, they got some water and a nice little mud hole, so now I need to give them some food. This is kind of the heat of the day. Well, that finishes off the bucket. Mr. Beast got his. Miss Piggy has hers. That's about what I feed them a day, maybe a little less. So I'll come back in the evening and give them some more. All right, I know they're quite happy now though. These are probably our most expensive animals to feed here on the homestead. They can't free range like the goats can or the chickens. Um, and I'm okay with that. Anything we can do to cut cost, that's a, that's a good thing. And if we have to feed these guys to get piglets we can sell and get our own ham and meat well that's okay too isn't that right miss piggy yeah well we've had lunch now we're headed out to work on that goat structure we're gonna make that a separate video because this is a full video already it's a pretty sky though hey we're done with that part before sunset, not too shabby. Um, I didn't see any chickens out, so maybe they already went to bed. I'm gonna go check for eggs. It's been a busy day and I haven't even looked since the two that we got this morning. So what are your guesses? The other leghorn isn't here, so they're not all here yet, but they're working on it. And they still have water, so that's good. All right. Five eggs, it looks like. It's minus the fake one. That's seven eggs today, not too shabby. I'm gonna check the other side since the goats aren't in there. I'll still have to come back later and lock them up, but good night, chickens. There's the other leghorn. And another chicken and a duck. Oh my word, there are seven eggs on this side. <laughs> I'm gonna come back with a basket, I guess. Never mind. I'm gonna just fold up my shirt and carry it in my shirt. <laughs> I'll figure it out. It's a good collection of eggs in there. Did daddy tell you to? Yeah. Then you need to do that. Guess how many eggs I got? Ten. Nope. More? More. Um, eleven. Nope. Twelve? Nope. Thirteen? Nope. Fourteen? Yes. Wow. I know, right? Just look at that sunset. I'm glad it's red at night. It's a sailor's delight, right? It's absolutely gorgeous. 
<sighs> Let's go see if those chickens can be put up yet. Jenny, here's another dog and is making sure we're okay. Good girl, Jenny. Oh, are you trapped outside? Do you want to come in here? Or go on the other side with your friend? See, there's your friend. I think I'll lift you over. There you go. Now y'all are together. Okay, now for the chickens. Good night, guys. Thanks for the eggs. So, I don't think the other chickens have really accepted these birds into the flock. But the goats sure seem to love them. Maybe Gilbert doesn't like that so much, huh? Hehehe. <laughs>